so for one we're going to change your, how you hit the ball i would i would never practice randomly without going through the entire routine i want you to get behind the ball i want you to step in line the face up and then set your feet and i want to see the shot picture it verbalize it and in detail see it start right at the flag and draw all those things i would have you doing on every shot and Random practice is how you're going to practice. Random means you hit a different club to a different target. This is an assessment, so you're not doing that. But when you do practice for performance, you got to do that random practice. Good. Yeah, good. You want to be random as possible. All right, now as far as the swing, um, you know, you're six, two, or three. This is the first thing I don't want to change. What's wrong with that? It's too far inside. Yeah. You got too much hand manipulation. Your wrists are moving. The club's getting in behind your hands. And then, you know, this is good at the top. You look like Matt Kuchar. I mean, really. Um, your pelvis moves forward, though, here, John. And this is, I don't like that. So your, help, your, your weights, you're loading your toes and your pelvis is moving forward. Nobody moves this direction on the backswing that's any good. Everybody else is sitting in, and the right hip is getting deeper. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, that's not that's very minor in the scheme of things, but it is something. And then, of course, this is the big one. This is the one we're going to fix. You stand up right on the backswing. Watch your head. See that move? Yeah, where that's going to go bye-bye. What you're going to do is forward press. You're not going this way anymore. So watch. Great players do this. Gary Player, he'll go like this. He would kick his hips forward and then start back. What you do is you go. You drift back. You push. Yeah. That leg can't lock. It's got to stay flexed. Yeah. So you're going to work on this. Just a little forward press to the left. Shift forward and then go back if you want to do something. But you're not going to go back from the centered position to the right. You're going to go forward to go back. Um, that's a possibility. I'm just saying. But So you stand up a little bit. You come back down nicely. And the club is behind you right here. You're stuck. The, what do I mean by stuck? Well, the right elbow is too far behind the right hip. And the club's coming in too shallow. So you really have to fire your hands to get it square. Or you're going to push it right. So, I'm going to get the club more in front of you there. See how the elbow's still trapped? That's no good. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not, you know, if you want to be a tour player, that would have to change. And if you want to be better, that's going to have to change. So, that's what's going to change. I'll show you how to do that. I'll show you the tour player, man on, you know, not that he's the greatest ball striker, but he's not doing what you're doing. His right elbow will not get stuck. See his right elbows in front of his right hip there. Your elbows way behind your right hip. So you're getting out in front of it with your lower half. Right. You got to get that. Yep. Yeah. But so what I want to do is get your club a little more in front of you here. Your club's too behind, too far behind you. So so look, your hands are too deep. Now what do I mean by too deep? I mean your hands should be about right here the center of your right shoe. So what I want you to do is stand with your rear end against the wall and practice taking a backswing without hitting the wall. So your hands are going to work vertically more. They're going to work this way. That right knee can't lock. That's, that's something that's going to change too. Your right hip is tight. So watch. You do this. That's no good. So watch me. Brooks Kepka, the best players in the world, they, they load. Like if you're going to throw a baseball, you load into this leg and you actually flex from the pelvis. So watch my right hip. So my rear end is going what direction? Back. So I'm actually squatting. So like if I was going to if I was going to throw something, I would squat. You can't throw it from here. You can't hit it with any speed and you can't your pelvis, okay? When you swing a golf club, your pelvis has to stay either in the same position or go backwards. It can't go this way. So you've got to be able to load and you've got to stay 
in your squat. The best players in the world do that. Now, do you do you move forward much? No. I mean, that's really good. That's like very minimal. That's like that much. It's not much at all. So that's my only criticism. The club, the club, you know, it's it's, it's right here. You just a little stuck for me. I'd like to see the right elbow get in here and not be back in here. Yeah, you're definitely not taking advantage of your height. You're swinging it like a guy my height. And what do I mean? You have a wider arc. You could get much wider and much taller, you know? So, like, now, it, that being said, I don't want to change your backswing that much. I really don't. I like how you really come in shallow here. And your club shaft comes right back to the same place it does at impact. I mean, that's really good. There's a lot of good things in your swing. But like here I am, for example. Now, we're not the same build. But I just want to show you what... What I want to do uh, is I want to be able to get you to hit a cut. I don't know that you can cut the ball from where you're at. We're going to find out. But like... Okay, now my, my right elbow, see where it is there? It's more in front of the right hip. And I just think your hands are too deep. And this is just a little bit too far behind your right hip. You see how you have to fire your right hand here? Watch. See that move right there? That's a good move. It's, it's, it is, but I just think you're a little bit off in terms of where I want the club. 